Hey everybody, my name is Ray Jr. Welcome back to Pokemon Sky. Last time we defeated Gym Leader Iono and defeated one of Team Star bases. Pardon me, would you be dark? I've been hearing so much about. Nomona told um, was had mentioned there was prom was a promising new face in the academy. Yes indeed. For what I do apologize, I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel, I'm one of the elite four of the Pokemon League. Also teach art classes at the academy. So do tell me, young dog, what could the compel us to strive these gym badges and strive to be a champion? I'm gonna get stronger. That's good answer, thank you. Now actually there's no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea as I say. You know, your friend Minamo is the youngest still chief champion of Megan Alpha in history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue to strive with your champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You'll be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from the bitter the, the, experience, the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometimes. I will be thrilled to have you attend. No, I actually gonna do something. Look, I cannot do the poker portal now. Great. Okay, now I can do it. I apparently remember that Pikachu I was like bummed out of about. I actually found out that I actually can still get it. It's an early purchase gift, as in get free internet. Early purchase, as you can get it is, uh, until the uh, until the end of the the event is done. So this is just simply really to uh, say too, you can get the flying type turret uh, type uh, Pikachu, which kiss also comes with the move fly. Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. When it is angered, it immediately discharges the energy stored in the pouches or in its cheeks. See, it's right there, level 5. Flying type, uh, the terror type, but it comes to fly to the mix up for that. So actually, check his memory and Let's see. Remember moves. There's a remember moves option. I forgot about Eon, which I've actually this thing. I can teach it back instead of Ember. I actually remember that. It's apparently much more powerful. As for you, Pikachu. You can go by there. <laughs> yeah, the team of struggle box. Is available an art class is available to take. Not a um, a history class. I actually really want to get myself those history classes actually to say the say, say, say the least. Okay, let's check the map. I want to actually get past the battle court, actually. So let's go to the Vinci North. By the spot, because now I'm Vinci, so I can now go over here. Because apparently the battle court is exactly uh, in the middle of the town. Makes sense. Let's uh, heal up. Mass outbreaks. I already know about that. Do I charge? Oh, I charge up. Okay. So let's now go 
to this, to this location. So we're in that area, so... Uh, and we've got good for good old little uh, Corridon, of course. There says to be a Steel-type Pokemon, we can easily defeat Steel-types. go towards this area. That's Arvin, probably? Yep, it's Arvin. One of the mines, a little, uh, one in the mines are here somewhere around here. Find this lurking steel type. We must have this thing is staggering huge and real long. I think a Pokemon like that uh, would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe super fast. In the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help catch up. Maybe catch up. Oh, it's raining here. Oh my god. Not exactly a good timing to have. So I think it should, should it be right around here somewhere. Oh, that's the pre-evolved form of that uh, boy. Of uh, a room. Sleep bomb, that's a physical attack, right? That's a physical attack, right? Sleep bomb is a... It's a physical attack, yes! I'll teach the... See, this thing is 80 power, this is 55. Somewhere around here then. It's like, is it like in this case, like for example? Right at the, oh, it's right there. Orphan, the Slurking Steel Titan. Let's first start up by... I cannot even tell what it is. Freaking... Okay, headbutt. Okay, sounds good. It's a Steel Titan, so it means it's, uh, of course, a Steel-type Pokémon. Looks like a robot. It... Oh, Earthweam. Oh. That's good to know. Just like before, I'm gonna use will -Lewis because, like, it's freezing right now on me. I'm trapped now, but... At least I can now can deal, every sing deal damage every single turn, at least. It's a little bad, but still nice. It's weak, that attack. I love this music. Oh, I'm a speed rest. So yeah, it's a 50% chance, of course. Okay, I need to heal up because of rap. Oh, 
Oh, the rain is, is gone. Okay. Yay, done with that. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, it's going away. Oh, no, it's not going away. Yeah, it's just going this way. So we gotta follow it. I'm gonna do the, the repeat the same strategy with that. I'll simply follow its path. Some Nicholas here. Ah, that's very, it's a. Uh... Yep. Again, eating something. Doc, oh, you managed to pin down the Titan? That's looking to steal Titan? It's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our friend here might be even faster now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Doc. Start with a good old tail whip. Doesn't matter how big an opponent victory is gonna taste so good seasoned by my to toad school. Oh! Toad school, that's that um I think. Yeah, it is a steel type. Okay, so now I got that done. Wants to confuse him. Wow. That's his willingness now. Sandstorm. He's also confused. Not only burn, but also confused. Nice. Oh, I've heard it's seven confusion. And Hex! The air gun's the only good damage. That was cool to do it. They did really good, in fact. It's already up to me now. Using Sandstorm again. And here comes the burn damage.
Nice. We did it, Doc. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at his face, though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cute. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that urban mystic I date before. Let's go find it before that thing can recoup. Lucky, there will be another herb here. I knew it! It really is here. This is all the herbs, make no mistake. Salty herb of Mystica. Woohoo, we did it! Thanks, Dark. Now, now let's see, what does the books have to say? Well, apparently, the salty herb of helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it's supposed to build up strength again. If I can just slip this into a tasty symbol, I just get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Dark? It's time to dig in. Only rip something up for us. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of a Titan badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. Oh, because it's salt. Yep, you know who it is. Oh, come on, you again. Of course, buddy. Get your little power ups. Hmm, <laughs> is it trying to say thanks or something? Oh, good thing I made an extra. You're helping out a bunch of with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Koridon could have a sandwich, okay? We'll now be able to jump higher now. Can I grow stronger again? Man, these over missing like I really do pack a punch, don't they? Any better, or else I'm really up the creek. Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Oh, well, sorry, I shouldn't have shouted it like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, dog. Come on up, bud. This is must boast stiff, my partner. Here you go, bud. Eat up. The sandwich should help you feel better. Slow it now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. My buddy here was uh, hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Have you tried a Pokemon Center? They said there wasn't any regular old injury or illness. My boss Steve here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promise that I made him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online, read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. 
Nothing really worked. I almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Urban Mystica. You've done your research? Yeah, see, I found this book in my mom's lap. Urban Mystica. Area Zone was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We adopted an Urban Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas in Paldea before, however, before we could harvest the herbs we eat in my Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. So apparently they managed to at least get managed to get at least uh, some Urban Mystica, but they before they could get them, they were of course uh, grow big. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, no, stuff nobody actually would actually believe. I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Urban Mystica can cure anything that ills you. Case in point, my boss Tiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, well, you don't need him, but Hey, hey, what was it? C can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. It's been so long that he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh, man, I'm so, I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, looking in. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring my stuff back to full health. I swear it. So uh, yeah, that's my story. You hear your herbs to go. Let's find them together. So apparently we both have uh, apparently uh, reasons for that. So I like that. He's actually trying to cure an illness. A very severe illness. Um, if he was able to um, get um, the Bostiff to get all those Urban Mystica, his power, its its strength will, re will regain, and its wounds are being completely healed. And of course, if we get to the, the get to get to that, we can also help Coridon as well. So, both Arvin and I have a win-win relationship with, with both of our partners, with Coridon or the Bostiff. Hello, Dark, this is Sada. I expect the Kawhi has gained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems you can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. If you press and hold the B button, Kawhi will now be able to jump higher than before. If you press B a pretty quick press, it will perform a smaller jump instead. Allowing you to continue to keep taking good care of Kawhi I actually do like that. I really do like that. So now, if you jump press B, it goes really. It's like Mario levels of uh, jumping. And of course, if just simply press B, just simply a simple tap, then uh, Koraiden will not do much. Much so. Let's see where where the other things this are. Um, there is. Uh, we went from Lavenza. The clo There is a. Okay, so there. Let me actually zoom out a little bit. So we're right now here. There's both. Um, Let's see, it seems the closest thing from here is the fighting type, and I don't actually have any Pokemon with that, or actually dealing with the poison type as well. The poison type, Bave, or taking on the fighting type. So it's Team Star is next, apparently. After that, we deal with two uh, gym leaders as well. Larry. See, there's also a steel titan right there, a dragon type, so and there's also one right there. So if we want if I for let's see. Um From looks of things, let's take the one on the far end first. And it seems there is also a um a mass outbreak there. So I'm gonna set that as a destination and you set as a bit of training tools. Why is there another earthworm here? Yeah, there's that there's the regular ones. So let's uh, make our way over there. So now we can actually jump like Mario, like a like a like a little Mario brother. <laughs> so now you can not only run super fast, but now also jump even higher. 
Makes things a little easier, of course. Oh, wait, the thing is right there, so you can see that there is a bit of a hint right there. Yeah, I really like the jumping. But dealing with fighting types may be a bit difficult. Oh god, here we go. I actually want to check what kind of... Um, is now I'm pretty sure the... My... Um, I can now easily get to into level 2, right? So let's check uh, Terror Ray Bells. It's just in case, just for me, just see what kind of I can now get there now. Because I'm pretty sure now I can do free rates. Uh, connect to the internet. Let's see, where are we now? Still need two, but. Eh. I'm gonna get myself at least some bits on the experience points, guys, so give me a moment. Okay, I think that should be good. Let's use the M's on you, actually. Use the M's here? Yes, use the M's on you. Level 43, are you evolving? You're evolving. You're actually evolving. That's awesome. Oh wait, I almost forgot, I'm currently in the desert, right? I almost forgot about something regarding that. Oh, it's a good thing I remembered. Good thing I remembered. Good thing I remembered about that. Um, there's an item I can get here. And I want to get that item, okay. Uh, uh, let me just look around next, look around real quick. So let me just look around exactly what it says about somewhere in the... Mm, there is a terrain, there's a lava tower right there. Uh, so it says about in the north section of the desert, and this is the only place in the desert. So I'm gonna look around real quick, just in case. Okay, here in the Sado Desert is apparently where this item is supposed to be, but... Uh, let's see, if her... It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Is it what? For me? Let's see what's this? The red candy. So I'll be uh, looking around just in case. Okay, found out what I needed to do. Apparently, there is a guy in Sapo Pico who actually gives me the evolutionary item if I actually got myself uh, ten of those uh, bronze or fragments. Apparently, I needed bronze or fragments in order to get this. So yeah. I needed a bunch of fragments for that, so I did, um... So I just needed to zap a pico for that, uh, go to zap a pico for that. It doesn't have a gym, but it has, uh, something with that on it. It gives me an armor set, which allows me to, um... And I should keep working on forgetting to set my fast speed to fast. There we go. So, now I got that done, let's uh, go to Sub Pika to get myself the evolutionary item. Evolutionary item. I got now 10 of those, um, of uh, those uh, Bronzor fragments. There's a little, this little guy that actually is uh, like obsessed with Bronzor. It doesn't have a gym, that doesn't have a gym where I'm going. Uh, it's really just like. Right about north here. It's close towards that area, so. Also, apparently, if you uh, knock out, um, if you have done all the things, you actually can get yourself the titans uh, themselves, actually. Which gives you a titan badge, which actually you can actually, yeah, you can actually get the titans we actually just fought 
for yourself. But they won't be giant anymore because apparently they're yeah. They won't be giant anymore, but they will be in a way. I also found out exactly where the um, two of those titans were. It's, apparently, I saw one actually dropping boulders, and the other one in the uh, in the in a path I was was supposed to be going. So let's uh, go to Zapico and to get myself uh, swipe at that town right there. Is that that? Is that an, another Pokemon that's about to? Is that, is that is that a what I think it is? It's not a crystal. That's for damn sure. The dog is screaming once again. Oh, it's a phalanx! And I, it's a phalanx. What type are you? Oh, that's steel type. A level 30 phalanx with uh, steel type. Oh, smart strike. Oh god. Oh, god I didn't do much damage. My dog is going, cry. going nuts. I'm just going for the LP. Rock smash. There goes Phalanx. Level 32, once move flame thrower. That's much better than uh, that. But I keep you instead of I keep winning suddenly because of the berries. Just in case. Phalanx sweats. Gross. That should be uh, Zappa Pico right there? I don't think it is. But if it is, that means I'm really close by. Yeah, I'm Zappa Pico right now. So there was supposed to be this guy who really likes their bronzers. Let me just look around exactly which look, which uh, which uh, guy that actually really likes it. But I do know it's really... Look at the wall. So, um, does it wrong? Can you looking around? Screen. Ah, just some by the fountains. It's right here. Fancy trade? I do indeed fancy a trade. Ten, but uh, I'm gonna express your curio for the offer if you give me ten bronze or fragments. Oh, very good, very good. I feel closer than ever to bronze or now. Here's the curio I uh, promise you. Take good care of it. It's laden with blessings. The auspicious armor. You get a different item if this was uh, a particular set of ar armor that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. A species species live within it. And if you were, do if this was a Pokemon Violet, you were actually get a different I item. So yeah, I think it's there. It is. Use this item. A little Percival. Now that looks cool. Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge of all food is use of a set of armor that belong to a distinguished warrior. This Pokemon is incredibly war is incredibly loyal. Psyshock. It's a fire and psychic type. I specifically wanted this guy, specifically because of the fact it's a uh, 
simply because of the guy, simply because I love the look. This was one of the coolest Pokemon they actually could have actually introduced. So now I got that done. Um, let's go to the poison set, to the, the star bass. I can now deal with poison, with a uh, with poison type Pokemon. To another one of case of star, uh, of starfall. Let's see which Pokemon uh, Coco is doing not that good. And actually, I do have all only only a fire type, but also fairy uh, only psychic type move, but also if uh, also a uh, fairy type move. So I, I'm pretty good against uh, fighting type and poison type. Yeah, I'm actually really good against the next one. So yeah, evolving uh, first of all into Armor Rouge was really good. That was awesome. I'll actually check the uh, TM stream since there is a. Uh, Maybe there's Psychic. Maybe I can get myself TM for Psychic. Oh, now I can now I can learn Psychic, but I don't have the items for that. Zombie Voice. Venus Shark, Dragon Tail. Black Rest. Nope. Mm -mm. Shame. Shame. So that's the star base, that's nice to know. And we want to go there. So, uh. Let's see, where's the. Um, oh, there's the gate, there's the gate. So we want to go. Uh, I can just simply go through. Let's see, let's see. Let me check to see which one's the close. Uh, which route is this one since. Uh, it's right there. I think I need to make like a run like this because apparently, of course, the cliffs. See, the gate is located right there, so I need to make my way over there. Ah, it's you, Doc. Clive. <laughs> yep, it's me, that's me, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Doc, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve the situation with Team Star? What's causing its members' odd behavior? Odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than just a few ru nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say that bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in the bases plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. We're talking about Team Star's pres pres persistent truancy. Uh, they've been... Oh, truancy. They've been all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the sort of bosses of the star, haven't so much so much set foot inside the classroom for over a year. It seems that team ranks and file have recently started this doing a mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to the st team stars to disband. I informed them that they should, should they re refuse, I would have no choice but to expel our students affiliated with the team. I'm afraid there has been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Casopia, I couldn't come to a more, much more crucial time. 
It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Uh, no, die then. Be careful. I see you coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you now? It's just me. Well, we won that Team Star will have, will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Receive with extreme caution, I'll be in touch. Do me a favor and go home, will ya? No, I wanna see the boss of the Navy Squad. Take me to Don Articus. Like I said, get the boss told me to not let any other scientists pass this gate, and that includes you. I don't care, I'm not leasing until you let me walk, talk to Don Articus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. Go say hello. Huh? Oh, great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work with Team Star Newbies would, would be this much of a chore. What well, I miss a gun? I think this boy might be dark. Very dark. That pick would take pick the fight with Team Star. Prepare to be raided! I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is asleep since we were all, were all, all light playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Gun. I'll buy some time for you to wake up the others. Yeah, what's in for you? Don Articus will be in danger if no one else here is to defend the base. I want a man in my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls and one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Alright, you villain, if you're done after Don Articus, prepare to face my wrath. Bring it on. Yeah! Give it for Coco with it have Coco with this for, for the time being. Wanna see how Flamefire works with it. Flamefire is chasing well. Don't get him, I'm a roosh. I talk back, but I'm no warrior. Don't know how to curse, I failed. I'm sorry I failed you. Doc, are you alright? I was watching here when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. You would worry that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ah, no fair, you had back up this whole time? This boy, one of the academy students, he doesn't look for from Steam Star. Well, I'm not a, me a, me a member of Team Star, but Don Articus is my compadre. I have to see it no matter what. I clearly have your reasons for being here, Doc. I'd like you to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for, you for a chance? Ah, uh, my man. Don't worry. I won't bite. Nice luck with dealing with a guard. It's not a guard, it was a little kid. Within the uh, base is the poison crew, the navy squad, the boss, Atticus, the science, the artist for the team. You could say he has clever hands, the guy is also a bit of a centric. You can never tell what he's do going to do next. So, since it's beyond to predict how he's going to respond to a declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's parts until you can read Atticus' face. Yes, 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 here we go. 
We get the joke. We can get the gist. Um, I think I once again cannot allow. Um... Uh, let me see. Um, change position to there. I don't want to yoil be in this. Because it is a poison type thing, yeah? So okay, we'll get locked out of beating one of his sister squads, and now I think he's gonna take us on. Time to give him the boot again, show this to get crash what Team Star can do. And if you listen, get crash out, know this, unless you'd be dirty Pokemon in 10 minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here comes poison types. Luck, I don't need to poison damage for the time being. That's weird. Dude, it's right here. <laughs> oh, you got lucky. Oh, and some fire type, and some poison type, because some of the... Wow, the frame rate is going nuts. Go, got a heal. Just nine left. And that's the last one. This way I was about to get the boss. Also, the team starts poison crew, Articus. Pray forgive my sudden entry. This is I, Articus. You're that scoundrel dog, I take it. You have some nerve botching your fangs, the team star. Come then, villainous wretch, we pl I plunge into grim poison, shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! Dressed like a ninja, fitting for poison. Not be punched in the way to the wretch. A plague on your house. Certain moves can poison if a mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake.
he's cool. So does he have, does he have two Pokemon? No, he has four Pokemon. Great. Oh, and Venoshock, of course. Oh, it comes Reva Room already. Oh, that thing. Let's see, I'm gonna use a port on this guy. Swap out. Revroom is a steel type Pokemon, so apparently the boss's uh, signature move Pokemon is Revroom's. Okay, did not survive that. This next move is as splendid as it is in Citrus. Behold, as it gnaws its target away. Simply sludge. There goes the red room. Muck. Watch your wave, oh boy. Now for the final weather room. You can give me a taste of my opponent? Fine, I will fight to the better end. Level 33 Rapper Room, the Navy Star Mobile. Noxious Torque. So, this is a poison type. So, yeah, they do need to charge their, their, the Rapper Rooms like this. I cannot disable that. See, 
do I have anything for that? I don't have any reviving items. Oh, that's my fault. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, mark the feed it. That means now time for the um, the Star Mobile. Noxious Torque. It's best to actually like intimidate the guy because that's so annoying. Let's use Leo, let's use Leo. Okay, cannot. Okay, cannot. And you did not survive either. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Can um let's see. You can leave, you can leave, you can leave. I can use Leo with you. So I won't Coco won't take much damage from that. Okay. Use this turn to provide um, Luxray just in case. Let's see. And use a super potion on you. I'm also going to terrestrialize, um, first of all, so he doesn't get poisoned. Many for defensive reasons. Sure, he, uh, oh, sure he loses his stab uh, side sharks, but still good. Better than having to uh, rely on that. Good for defensive measures. Takes two hits, apparently. Spin out. Hard to lower speed for that. Forgive me, my friends. About a year and a half ago. Forgive me, it took a good lead time to procure the mat required materials. Oh, sick, these boots are insane! Ah, oh, yes, the move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. That's obviously everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the internal Inferno Airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfits upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Articus. If you two are looking like absolute beasts, anyone who causes us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Articus. Those people bullying you cause you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their mind. 
And then you have the ninjas, Robin Frogs, Viv Torrance. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the ref refining rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Articus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Articus. I think you're really cool. Okay, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into the bell training, so we're all prepped up for Operation Star. They gotta be strong, that means we're that everything else in the team, that mean, means being a boss is. Need it is. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to holding my battling skills. Sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed, and so this batch of is mine to keep no more. I entrust it with, with thy care. There's this contraption too. The Tainism technique allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Dog is I name is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was such such was his brilliance. But Articus, my compadre, since this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. But Articus, please hear what I have to say. I need only a moment. But have I brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? You know, the kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad. You and the rest of the team saw saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. But if you get uh, expelled for being the good guys, that will be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. But the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. Without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. The other choice but defend our bases till the big boss returns. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal? Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. But at the worst, they are our recluse. As with the rest of us, trust would be bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though the name and face being unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious com comrades. Our only choice to maintain our vigils from the bases, waiting the day of their return. So that's why I don't go to school. But still, don't you think the Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus? You got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, you're a great deal. Since we're one step close and true behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying of the academy, but more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are f struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for ever acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's a shame how oblivious I've been. <sighs> I believe Team Stars to be the one and the only treasure in my life. Many things I may have been mistaken. Uh, like it's me. I take it Articus Star Batch is now in your possession? I see. Now that this boss has been taken down, the Navy's cost days are numbered. Articus. Sorry, I got to distract you for a second there again. Now about your reward, I'll try to not be over to your phone as promised. It's okay. Use those TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I have my supply unit prepped to meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. Oh no, that's me again on the supply unit. Well, what the heck? Hey, stop that! Somebody help! <laughs> Black and jewel all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. There, I guess there's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? But before I get forget, here's your reward. Um, do you know that, right? Since you put Operation Star Wars Bell, you know, can I ask you something? I think, uh, I think of Steam Star. They're pretty strong. 
Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of, always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them are just used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's what they found out by hacking other students' social and media accounts. I also found a talk about some secret mastermind by the Firepass, someone who recruited them into the team in the first place. Um, I don't think it normally talks as much, now my throat kind of hurts. So um, good luck with uh, taking down the other bases and such. And I'm currently running out of time, so I'll see you next time.